everybody in television land. This is Paul Gilbert, and I am here today with you. Lars. Lars, good to meet you. Nice to meet you. We have some TC electronic pedals, and I've heard that you guys do something called Build a Pedal Board. This is like a series. It is now, yes. And I'm really happy to be part of the series because I happen to love building pedal boards. And I picked out these pedals from the TC Electronic website. Yes. A bunch of them I have already and I use all the time, but there's some new ones that I haven't tried yet. Yeah. And I want to show you, Lars, my philosophy on the order that they go in and, and just how I, I use these. So Great. are you ready to check it out? I'm ready. I'm, I'm, teach me. All right. So I'm going to start. Now, the, no, normally I use like a really long pedal board so I can sort of see things in order, but I, I can make this work. Yeah. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the ones in back that I really never hit. I just leave them on all the time. Yeah. Um, so that's absolutely the Mojo Mojo. This one's like, this is, if there's anything that's sort of my tone, it's the Mojo Mojo. And that's just on all the time. So I don't really need to hit it. It's just on. And so let's, we'll, we'll start, we may move these around as we go. Could you, oh, quickly, um, what kind of amp settings do you have when you build a board? Do you have like oh, a yeah. clean amp or? This is going through a totally clean amp. The, the nice thing about clean amps is if you get like a, a Marshall, you know, 100 watt, uh, the vintage one, like yeah, the yeah, yeah. 59 SLP. Yeah. None of the metal guys have rented that one because there's no master volume on it. True. So when you when you travel and you rent one, it's totally clean. Yeah. The tubes are in good shape. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you know, whereas like a JC made hundred is just torn apart yeah. and, and you know, it's been really abused. Yeah. So the, the the vintage one, and plus it's got the four inputs, and the, the input number two is is not quite as trebly, mm. a little warmer. Yes. And if you need treble, you just here you got a knob here. Yes. So uh, so this combined with the with the Marshall, you know, vintage style heads, yeah. and I'm in, I'm in business. Okay. So this one's this one gets me to like kind of, you know, late seventies, AC DC Scorpions, you know, kind of tone. Yeah. Which is that's a good place to be. That's a good place to start, yeah. and a good place to be. But the, here's the, the the other thing with having a clean amp, is um, is I can use a delay and a reverb. Yeah. And they and they and they really sound good. Now of course you know. People have solved this problem before by putting them in an effects loop. Yeah. But then you've got to have a cables, and and it's you know to, to me it's it's like one or two steps too complicated. Yeah. I like to have them here, even though I don't leave, have them on all the time. I don't actually hit them off. No. I still like to have them here and just have like one cable, and everything I want is here, and the clean amp makes that work. So for whatever reason, I'm going to put the delay before the reverb, and that and these are just on all the time. The, uh, the alter ego delay. I, I said it like kind of a just a real subtle slap, kind of, kind of Van Halen one. Yeah, yeah. If, if you really want to, if you want to get my slap setting, listen to "Hang 'Em High" by Van Halen, the very end, last chord. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and you've got that. The arena is just a really nice reverb. It's got a, a lot of great reverbs on it. I like the spring and I like the PAS, whatever that stands for. Um, actually, the the Parl was good too, but we're going to leave it on spring as a starting po a starting point. Uh, so now we're, we're going to start uh, at the beginning. Yes. This is a new idea I've got, which is to take a tremolo pedal that happens to have a very useful knob on it, the volume knob, and use it as like a really stylish clean channel. Oh, yeah. Because I can use the volume to actually cut a little bit. Well, we'll see. We'll plug it in yeah, see if yeah, that works. Yeah. And, uh, and then, you know, a lot of times when you play clean, you're, you're maybe arpeggiating a chord, you know, it's sort of, you know, Boston, more than a feeling kind of thing. Yeah. And to make it a little bit more stylish, we're going to add a you know, real subtle tremolo to that. So, you know, it's just more fun. Now, from there, I'm going to go, you know, I'm the world's biggest Robin Trower fan, so we, we got to have a, gotta our have uh, our, our vibe-style pedal. Yeah. Now we'll come after that. And then, now, again, the Mojo Mojo is just always on. Uh, but as I play through the set... You know, I, I really want to have varying amounts and, and sometimes different kinds of distortion. So I've been really, wow, this has got some weight to it. That's yeah, cool. There's something good in here. Yeah. Um, lately, I really like fuzzes because fuzzes tend to be thick mm -hmm. on the higher strings. Yeah. And, and high strings on guitar, they can be kind of, so yeah. it, it thickens it up and, uh, and just, you know, gives you a, a, makes the little strings sound big. Now... The, the, the other side of that is that when you get to the, the low strings, and sometimes, I mean, I, I actually kind of like fuzzy low strings, but sometimes I do want to go back, 
1982 and, and get like a, a more tight, defined, mm. you know, chugga chugga thing. And, and that's where I use another uh, overdrive pedal that's got EQ in it, yeah. and uh, like the Spark, and and I'll just crank up the treble. So I actually use this like kind of as a treble booster, yeah. but I can also get more gain if I need it. Yeah. And then these are what I'm going to be really hitting all night. With, and it's important to have it on like, the, the right side of the pedal board because I like to use my right foot for switching. So this is like keeping me busy. You know, that's that's my pedal dance is all with these. Yeah. And then once in a while, these. Now the Spark, I've got an idea for that, which is to put this at the very end because another thing with, with using a clean amp is if you have it like a clean boost, I mean, most people, when they use a clean boost, they put it before the whatever's making the distortion. Yes. And so it just kicks the distortion, you know, a, a, you know, a couple degrees more. Yeah. But if you put it post-distortion, then it just makes everything louder. louder. Yes, exactly. And I've got this crazy idea, which is with, with guitar, you know, we, we tend to have our volumes, you know, full out all the time. And, uh, but imagine if you, like, turn it down... And and hit this with and with a clean or let, let, I should say this with a light touch. Yes, it allows you to like have a really light touch, play dynamically very soft, which has a unique sound, mm -hmm. but it's like screaming loud, so it cuts through, and that's going to get people's attention. Yeah, yeah. because nobody ever hears that. Every, every, if you hear something loud, it's always you know, <laughs> you know somebody's. You know, That's true. Beat, beating the thing up, yeah. but to be really loud, but with the with the texture of a whisper, yeah. I think I think there might be something to that. There might be something there. So that that's what we got. So we're going to put these here now. And I want let me see, because this I might want to get to as an actual foot switch. So I might make a little room for it. There we go. Then I've, now I've got a path. Yeah, we can fit in. We can go closer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah let me know. Let me know how close we can get. Because I want to make. We a, have this. Um, and we can get this like, all the way over here. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Let, let's, let's patch it up and, yeah. and power it up. So I'll, I'll let you help. I will help. I'll let the professionals I will help you. Help you. Um, oh yeah, we got to somehow get from here to here. Yeah. So you want to go here first. And right. Then, yeah. Yeah. That's good. 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 Oh, you are prepared. This is great. People have different. Uh, Different ways of using pedals. There's like the pedals that do like really crazy things where the effect is almost the the, the voice. Yes. And that's uh, I, I'm not quite there yet. I just I just want to make my guitar sound good. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is very uh, very slick. The, the, my, my homemade pedal boards are just a piece of plywood, and all my all my wiring lives on top. So I'm I'm very impressed by this uh, yeah. wires underneath method. All right. So that was maybe one of the fastest uh, patching up and uh, putting power on I've ever done. You're you're that, good. That was fast. <laughs> and uh, and it's all in, in order and you know nothing nothing too stereo or or, or tricky. Uh, we didn't make it very clean, but or, or it's pristine. Pretty, but it's pretty relatively clean. Clean enough. Yeah, yeah. We we can we can get to it. Let's check out some tones. Yeah, let's see if it works like you hoped. All right. So so number one, let's get the mojo mojo working again. Our, we're just going through a clean sound here. <laughs> All right, so it's on. I'm gonna just crank up the drive. I like the voice switch up. Oh, that's just nice already. Woo! That's just tough and good tone. We, we, we may come back to it and add some distortion if we need, but that's a good starting point. All right, so next, let's get the... the uh, our delay happening. I'm gonna try, yeah, just straight up. I kind of like that one. Not too much feedback. And let's see. Yeah, that's good. Just a little couple bit. Of, couple of delay or a couple of repeats. One. I only hear one, but I'll, I'll two, do three. a little less. Well, yeah. 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 Just one mostly, maybe a little more release through, just for to be stylish. And again, this is coming after the distortion, so. It, it, it changes the way a delay sounds, and it sort of mixes in nice with the original signal. It doesn't fight the original signal. Yeah. And it just, you know, you feel a little less nervous because it's not like super, super dry. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn this off while I adjust the reverb. Let's try that spring. 
Well, that's kind of nice already. Now I've got a pre-delay, and I'm going to decide if I want short or long pre-delay. Yeah. I'm going to go short, just for the heck of it. And then, let's see. <laughs> That sounds nice already. Maybe a little longer. And a little shorter. Okay, let's hear that with the delay. Okay, now the one thing I want to check, I just want to check that par. I'm assuming par is like, you know, parliament. Uh, that's a nice long one, let's see. And let's see what the PAS sounds like. That's kind of nice. I always know that it's right when I start playing better. Yes. That, that's, yeah. the, that's the whole reason you have pedals. It's like, am I playing better? Okay, that's, that's, that pedal's good then. It's a sound that sort of inspires yeah, you. Well, or, yeah, exactly. It's just yeah. it's just starting to feel right. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna turn that back a little bit and then put the delay on. So there's my basic tone. Yeah. Uh, now we start to have fun. Let's let's see if we can clean it up. With now this is a new one. I've never used the pipeline before. No, this has a square wave or a. More vintage sounding. Well, I always like vintage. So that... let's go a little slower and just real subtle. Yeah. And now, well, the volume's pretty subtle on this, but let's, we're going to go all the way down. But that's kind of nice, you know. Like if you end a song or something, you just yeah. that's more stylish than without it. Yeah. Yeah, it's and just yeah. sort of like, eh. and then with, with it on. Movement. It's a whole different face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that you know, that's my song ender, or just chord sustainer. It just you know gives me some style. Now this one I'm excited about too. It's got a big knob. It's got a big knob. The thinking was that you could actually do it with your foot. Yeah. Yeah. But it depends on how. How close the pedals yeah, my, are. My foot's pretty big, so yeah. I, I, I would get stuck in there. But I, I just, I don't really need to adjust it. I just want one good tone. I'm going to leave it on the chorus setting. I'm going to try it with the, just a little bit of intensity. And of course, every player who, who plays through a vibe pedal. Ah. Good already. Yeah. All right, so we got that one. Now we're gonna have we're gonna get to our, our distortion land. So this is the first time I've tried the rusty fuzz. Let me see what the knobs do. Fuzz volume. I'm gonna turn the volume down a little bit just so I want to. Oh, it's nice already. You know, this with fuzz you gotta shake it. Yeah. So now, with, with any distortion pedal, you kind of got to crank it and see what, what happens when you... Got to try it. <laughs> these, these knobs feel good. They're real smooth. Yes. Now, if there's one song that's like a, you know, fuzz testing song, it has to be Mississippi Queen, you know. Yes. Now, this has an interesting thing on the low end. Now, that's the thing with fuzzes. They always... You always sometimes do things at the low end that are that are like not not necessarily your tight jig jig jig, but you no, get something no, no. you get something with character. Yes. And the first thing I'm thinking of this is like communication breakdown. Mm -hmm. It's just got it's just nasty, like yeah, the yeah, amp yeah. is going, help me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what the tone does. I'm gonna I'm gonna explore the extremes. The tone all the way up, a little less fuzz. Put the fuzz back. Head. And then the tone all the way down. See what that does. That's kind of nice too. 
Now this is more than a tone. Yeah. It 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 um it has like a it really changes the feel of it. Yeah. Which is nice to have that control because the, the, when it was all the way up, it was kind of that amp, you know, <laughs> amp you know, at the verge of exploding. <laughs> but if you turn it all, all the way down, yeah. it's a lot lot bigger. <laughs> Okay, so that that that's a lot of times really nice in combination with a little bit of treble on the front end, and, and we can also you know use any combination of these. But I'm going to check out the. Uh, we have some right now. We have a bit of noise, but well, um, well that's the, 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 my noise gate mm -hmm. is I turn them off. Yeah, like as I'm as I'm playing, whenever I end a song, you know, and then I turn it off. The Mojo Mojo is like. It's it's a small enough amount of distortion where I can leave it on and it's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but these I'm like you know having two or three distortion pedals on the same time. Of course it's going to be noisy. It's going to be noisy. That's why there's a button to turn them off. Yeah. Uh, and let's see. So this one I'm going to turn the gain down. I'm going to put it on. So the, so right there it's it's on but it's not super noisy. No. But we're going to just we're just going to like adjust the treble on this. So let's see. <laughs> You can hear it starting to yeah, yeah, cut yeah. through more. Yeah. Now that's, I mean, that's, we may uh, adjust as we go, but let's see. I'm gonna try the mid setting. The less gain. Now again, that's the spark through the Mojo Mojo into a totally clean amp. Yeah, but let's yeah. try the spark with, through the fuzz and just see what this sounds like. Yeah. And we're starting to get into that endless sustain territory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, now let's see. Now I want to try the opposite. I want to try the spark and almost see what it fuzzes out like by turning the treble down and the bass up a bit and yeah, getting some yeah. more gain. And that's that's something I would I would use a lot, you know, where it was, where it just sort of thickens it up. Yeah. I'm not using it as a treble booster anymore. This no. is almost like setting setting something that's not a fuzz to be to go in that direction, but it, it's it, but it's a little it's a little less amp about to explode a little more in control a little tighter low end Starting to be something I'm comfortable with. Well, you, you, yeah, it's, it feels like you uh, you 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 were liking the sound. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, it's it's nice. You know, back in the old days, I would have like a, a Marshall head that was modified. Mm. You know, I, I might get one great sound, but you know, it was what it was. And, and you could use your you know volume control on mm. the guitar to adjust a little bit. But when you've got like three stages of, of distortion. That that you can foot switch, mm -hmm. you you know as you as you go, you can really you know it, it becomes it, it, improvising dynamically. Yeah, and of course here we, we also have if we want to you know make everything everyone everything one louder. So then that's yeah, a big yeah. boost, yeah. and that allows you like if you want to play real quiet. So if I'm if I got like my full blast, you know, uh, let's see what a good key D. And I want to go like, yeah. you know, I, I just, you know, I'm, I'm still louder, even even though, and this has got so much headroom on it. I mean, I could, yeah. you know, let's, I got to be careful not to, not to damage anybody, but maybe down a little bit. 
Well, like I, I get this song I'm, I'm doing at this show tomorrow where I play real. Go to your, uh, and and it's a similar volume level, mm -hmm. but I was able to get that whisper quiet thing yeah. and with, with yeah, that. So it makes sense. It's kind of cool to have it have it at the end. Yeah, it's good good uh, use of a of a booster. All right, so I, I want to just play with this vicious yeah. vibe a little more. <laughs> That's always so much fun. Let's see what a good key is for that. I'm playing the key of C. <laughs> Perfect. So people, we've just witnessed this, uh, the creation of a great pedal board with tons of different uh, voicings or, or drive levels. Um, and it's actually uh, possible for you to win this exact board and we'll get, um, we'll get Paul to sign it. He'll sign it and you can win it. And details will follow of, uh, on how to win this. I'll even put a little pick on there. Oh man, a pick. <laughs> That's wonderful. Thank you. Thank you.